Okay, I'm in my car. I I I decided to test the vehicle to load feature. So here you can see that I plug it into the socket. It's right here. It's a bit dark, but it says there are 240 volts for with 16 amps, and it works. It actually delivers 16 amps, and you can use power tools, microwave, whatever. The only thing it doesn't have is electricity elasticity that that the power grid has. So some su bigger power tools, and I mean like table saws and whatever, they won't start. They will they will essentially trip the trip the safety switch and the vehicle to load won't work with the big table saws but most other things will work just fine and now i made this uh, making this video to uh, essentially check in what modes the vehicle to load actually works and to address some misconceptions so right now it's in the off state the car is off it just a minute ago it was on that's why this screen is still on but it is an off state and it is like off the lamp is off and it won't work now i'm entering a next mode which is accessory mode and accessory mode enables all of these features including including the uh the usb sockets and you will hear my dash cam launching and that's what accessory mode is accessory mode comes from 12 volt yeah 12 volt battery Accessory mode comes from a 12 volt battery, so vehicle to load system will not start and it's still not gonna work. But then, if you turn on the car in a normal driving mode and whatever, you see there's that first red light. Give it a second. And it's green. Now it should work just fine. You're working just fine. Uh, during drive, we should check whether the uh, it restarted the 12 volt system. So the so also the uh, camera restarted for me. But yeah, like let's see if it's while driving works. The light is on. I put it in reverse. Drive a little bit. Put it in drive. Drive a little bit. It did not turn off because it still works. It still works just fine while well, you drive it and so on. So if you go into EV menu, there uh, you can see when it works and when it does not. My battery is at 94%. Uh, don't don't worry about that. That menu is from my Android interface box. So here is the vehicle to load setting in the EV menu. Uh, you can set at minimum state of charge when does the vehicle to load will work 30 40 so when your car reaches below this percentage the vehicle to load will stop working and that's to do with conserving battery in case you're cooking meals inside your car and you want to conserve that battery uh, more when you realize the charge is quite far and in hyundai you have to keep that in mind because below 20 percent actually the battery runs quite rapidly lower it's it's not linear a linear percentage curve but i typically keep it at 20 percent. it doesn't make sense to keep it higher it's weird that this setting even exists in in my opinion let's switch to accessory uh, not accessory utility mode utility mode is car for camping uh for pets uh, perhaps and and that will essentially uh that's what utility mode is so you can camp out and and use the car still all the systems and the big battery and conditioning and so on so utility mode is here in the ev set settings and utility mode can also be tied to these shortcuts so shortcuts i mean this star as well as this star is separate separate shortcuts you can tie and now we are in utility mode utility mode disables driving i can't set the driving but whether our vehicle to load system works, it still does indeed work just fine. In accessory, uh, not accessory, utility mode, you cannot go into drive. Shifting conditions not met. That's just so you know that uh, utility mode protects for uh, your car from being driven away by somebody, by your kid, even in case you're camping, or by a thief, because he sees your car is running. So you can camp with it safely, not, and it's not going to be driven away unless they have a key and they shift to drive mode. And then whether the if we, the car is running and if we turn off the car, so then what do we see? The vehicle to load system 
has turned off as well. Excuse me for the mess in the car. This car is being driven and used actively. So, of course, there's going to be sometimes some mess there. But here we are, and that's how vehicle to load works. I wanted to share with you how it works so to el eliminate some misconce misconceptions I've read online about it and I will also make a video about external vehicle to load system so basically a, a converter no adapter so of sorts if you can call it adapter uh, for socket outside to see how, how it works it probably works similarly aside from driving of course I mean I will try that but I don't expect it to work or even let me drive but uh, in any case this is how the internal vehicle to load system works and we will now unplug it so so you can see how it looks in, in, in the, my trim so this is for them ah, it's too dark you can't really see it and there's a cover here so this is how it looks for us in the in, in, uh, Baltics region and yeah I hope you I hope this was informative for you and I'll see you when I make a video about external vehicle to load system